In this episode of NCAP TV, we're going to talk about disinfecting carpet. Is it possible to truly, totally, completely remove all microbes from a carpet? Stay tuned to this episode and we'll answer that question for you. Now that COVID-19 coronavirus has become a global pandemic, people are starting to ask, can I disinfect a carpet? In other words, can I remove all of the microbes from the carpet, all of the bacteria that's down in the carpet? Short answer to that is no. You really can't disinfect a carpet totally. You can lower the amount of microbes in the carpet, but to totally disinfect, that would be a stretch. And here's why. Carpet is largely porous, and there's a lot of empty space surrounding the carpet fiber and the tough bundles. So there's a lot of place and area in there where the bacteria can build up and reside in the carpet. So to completely eliminate all of that is really something that carpet cleaning or disinfection is not going to bring about entirely. We can improve the condition, but to say categorically, we got rid of all the bacteria in the carpet, such as what we're dealing with now with coronavirus, that would really be stretching the truth. And in fact, it could get you into a legal issue if you're making that bold claim when in fact you're not removing all of the microbes from the carpet. So while a disinfection treatment might be useful to lower or reduce the amount of microbes in the carpet, using an EPA registered disinfectant, total disinfection should never be implied by any of us when it comes to cleaning carpet or disinfecting carpet because really and truly that goes beyond the scope of what we can truthfully accomplish when it comes to carpet cleaning or disinfection on this type of a surface. Disinfecting is recommended for hard surfaces and to a limited extent we can reduce, we can disinfect, we can reduce the amount of microbes or bacteria in carpet, truthfully, yes we can, but to say conclusively that we're getting rid of all of the microbes, that is not actually going to happen when it comes to carpet. Now I'd like to share a couple of studies that might be helpful in really putting a picture on this whole thing about disinfecting. The Center for Disease Control, the CDC, makes this recommendation when cleaning for COVID-19. Here's what they say. Cleaning staff should clean and disinfect all areas, offices, bathrooms, and common areas used by the ill persons, focusing especially on frequently touched surfaces. Now, carpet is not generally a frequently touched surface. I think it's reasonable for us to conclude that carpet poses a lower risk than frequently touched surfaces would. So the clear direction here from the CDC is to focus on frequently touched surfaces. That's what we want to put our emphasis on disinfecting. Also, there may be some health advantages to carpet. Here's a study that I think you might find interesting. Studies have measured the distribution of airborne dust associated with normal activities on smooth surfaces and on carpeted floors. The findings show that walking on hard surfaces disturbs more particles which become airborne and enter the breathing zone. In contrast, carpeted surfaces trap more particles so that walking disturbs fewer particles, resulting in fewer particles in the breathing zone. Now that came from analysis of the behavior of airborne allergens in carpeted and uncarpeted dwellings by Solution Inc. So clearly there are some advantages to carpet. It helps to keep the indoor environment cleaner, and if we put our focus on disinfecting those frequently touched surfaces, we're going to improve the uh, health and the cleanliness of the building. Now we got a question from one of our customers today. He cleans a very large university and the building's been shut down because of exposure to COVID-19. And in this setting, they're actually going to disinfect the entire building. They're going to fog everything and they're going to do a total clean of the building. The question he wanted to know is, can he clean the carpet like normal following disinfecting? Absolutely. Following disinfection, whether he were to clean with hot water extraction or even putting it back into an encapsulation maintenance program will not be a problem following disinfecting. It would have no impact on his further cleaning as he goes forward down the line. So in conclusion, to wrap all of this up, can we disinfect a carpet? In other words, 
can we say categorically that we're going to remove all the microbes in a carpet? Absolutely not. It's impossible, as we've already established, to remove everything, all the bacteria that's in a carpet. However, it can be improved upon. Cleaning the carpet will certainly improve the overall health of the building. Using a disinfectant in the building and in the carpet can also be applied to reduce or lower the microbes in the carpet. Ultimately though, what we want to present to our customers is to keep their carpet clean, to maintain their carpet, to keep it in a good overall condition. That will go a long way to improving the health of the building and the occupants in the building. So promote clean carpet to your customers. Certainly don't oversell the idea of disinfecting because it's not accurate, but we do want to establish the fact that we're going to help them enjoy a cleaner building. And really right now, with all the health concerns that are out there, promoting an indoor environment that's healthy and clean is certainly advantageous. Thank you for watching this episode of NCAP TV. If there's anything we can do for you here at Excellent Supply to help you max your NCAP, that's what we want to help you do. Please share your comments below. Tell me what you think about disinfecting carpets. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. We appreciate it when you do that as well. Until next time, thanks for watching this episode of NCAP TV. Mm -hmm.